Hello, welcome to Kadar's Kitchen. Do not forget to subscribe and like. Uh, today we're making my beer crust pizza. It's a family favorite. You see, I have the oven on around 222. I like having a warm oven. The dough is going to rise a little bit quicker that way. But we have to cancel it. Once we get to 222 or 200, we turn the oven off. So I have uh, one beer, a half a cup of water, two tablespoons of olive oil, and two tablespoons of sugar. And I put that in the microwave. Since it's warm beer, um, not refrigerated, I only go for about a minute and a half. You don't want your water or your beer to get more than 110, 111 degrees, you know, somewhere in there. Okay, so we have the beer with the water and the olive oil. With the sugar, we're gonna give it a stir, make sure the sugar dissolves. Pour that in here. And we're gonna put two tablespoons of dry active yeast. Give it a stir. Let that stir for about, well, maybe three or four minutes. And you'll see that the yeast will start bubbling up. At this time, we're gonna add one egg white. So we're going to add six cups of flour to this mixture. I usually take like a plastic container like this, mark it off. So that way I'm not dealing with, uh, you know, using cup measurements. I'll put about half down there and start, get it stirring. And I wait till this point to add the salt. So I feel that if you put the salt in too soon, it might react with the yeast and it might slow it down. You see it comes up a little bit of a slurry. I'm going to add my salt. Now that that's incorporated, I'm going to start adding well, about a cup or so at a time, and at the end, only a half a cup. If you add too much flour at a time, it, your, your flour is going to come flying out of here, and that's not a good thing. All right, I'm going to scrape down the sides a little bit, make sure we get all that flour incorporated. I'm going to continue to add more flour, about a half a cup at a time. About medium speed, maybe a little bit higher. And you see it's starting to form a bell. Pulling away from the side, which is a good, good sign. And another half a cup. And as you do add, maybe slow down the mixing just a little bit. So, same thing, so the flour doesn't fly all over the place. I'm going to add another half cup. I have to 
before we're done, and there's a little lock here on the side. Okay, I'm gonna lift this up a little bit more and put it on the bottom so it doesn't go flying all over the place. There we go. I learned sometimes I put a rubber band on the lock on the side here to the front and that'll keep it from bouncing off. Sometimes when it all gets heavier like that, it'll want to bounce off. Let me turn it up a little bit. Working it till you see it makes one solid ball. I'm gonna give a feel to the dough. See, it's still a little wet, so I'm gonna incorporate just a little bit more flour, and I'm gonna make like a well in the center. Put the dough right in there. Put the dough, the flour, excuse me. Yeah, you could tell by touch, it's not too wet, it's not too dry. I use this dough for making uh, calzones and strombolis. Those will be uh, two other dishes I'll have on uh, my channel. So now I come over here and spray it with a little bit of olive oil. Roll it over. So the oil is at the bottom. Hit the top. Cover it with a towel. And we're just gonna put it right in the oven. For about two, 45 minutes or so. Okay. okay, it's been about 45 minutes. See it's Risen about double in size. So we're gonna knead it just a little bit, roll it in some flour so it doesn't stick. Then we're gonna cover it with a towel. We need to let this rest for about 10 minutes before we start rolling it out. So we prepare the pan, we're going to spray it with some cooking spray, olive oil, whatever you have. And then we're going to sprinkle it with some cornmeal here, yellow cornmeal, white cornmeal, it doesn't really matter. Just like that. All right. Take our dough out. Looking good. I'm going to cut that straight in half because I'm going to make two pizzas. And while that I'm rolling one out, I'm just going to cover this with a towel. Put some more flour down. So you don't want it to stick. So on top, get your rolling pin. Start rolling. Go from the center out. If you know how to stretch it out by hand, good for you. I think it's about a 16 inch pan. Try to go a little bit bigger. Behind you. I do a 
then you just fold it over, put it in the pan, try not to put it on top of the flour. And there we go. Okay, our pizza sauce is really simple. It's half a jar of regular spaghetti sauce that you get at the store. And then I add one can, six ounces of tomato paste, uh, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, and about half a teaspoon of sugar. And then I'll use an uh, instrument like this, emulsify it, mix it together. You can do that in a processor, uh, even in a blender, possibly. And then the other toppings, I have some Italian sausage here that what I do, I take like bulk sausage, or you could take sausage and casing, of course, remove the casing, and then I put it in the microwave for about five minutes, and then put it in a processor, pulse it till you get it as fine as you like it. I feel that this works better than trying to cook it in a pan. When you cook it in a pan, it's going to dry it out, get it a little bit too brown, and yeah, it, even it, it, to me, it even tastes more salty. And then we've got our toppings here. Mushrooms, some onion, a little red pepper, and uh, some uh, pepperoni. Okay. Okay, so you want to spread the sauce out first. Half of it because you got two pizzas here going. And I usually use a spatula like this. Works pretty good. This one's gonna be with sausage and vegetables. Spread it out even. Try to spread it evenly. Uh, the onions on. I like them sliced thin like this. You can chop them up, that would be fine too. Mushrooms. Spread those out. It's about a little less than half a pound of mushrooms sliced up. And then my roast or red pepper. Okay, we have some grated uh, mozzarella, and I'm gonna add uh, some grated asaggio with this. Give it a little bit of flavor. Toss that together. Now we're gonna spread that over the pizza. This is about a little more than a pound of mozzarella per pizza. You can go more or less, whatever your preference is. Okay. I like putting a little pepperoni. Just to give it a little more flavor. Then I'll make the other pizza and we'll be putting them in there. That one. On the All right, so we're gonna put two pizzas in, one on the very bottom. And we're gonna put this one on the top. And we're gonna cook that for about eight minutes and then we're gonna change them so we get browning on both of them. This is my daughter, Jamie. <laughs>